Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Shani Marie. Welcome. And if you like what you see in today's video, I would love for you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and be a part of this growing family. As you guys can tell from the title of the video, we are doing my May Boxy Charm slash Ipsy unboxing. I really don't know what to call it anymore now that the product is now coming in the Ipsy box instead of a Boxy Charm box. So I don't even know if I should still call it Boxy Charm unboxing. But it's gonna be that today. And if you've never seen these type of videos before, basically I pay for a beauty subscription from Ipsy slash Foxy Chomp every month, $31 a month, okay? And you get five full products in here. And what I do is go ahead and test them out for you guys to give you my honest opinion. And in the end, I go ahead and calculate each item to see if it's worth that price. And if it's worth you being part of this beauty subscription. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying. So if you are interested in seeing what I got in my May box this month, then continue to keep on watching and let's get into it. All right guys, so I can finally show you what the box looks like because then it really come beat up like my April box did. So this is the new box for the Ipsy Boxy Charm, you know, entity. Um, that's why I don't know what to call it anymore. If I still should call it a Boxy Charm or Boxing, I'm not really sure. But take out the little brown bits. And I said it before, the only gripe I have with the Ipsy thing now is that it doesn't come with a card to tell you information about the products and how much they cost. So I do have my phone here with all the, like with at least the prices of each item. But the first thing we'll pull out is this little um, pamphlet. It just says, let yourself bloom. Br bring on brighter days and warmer weather. There's a new season on the horizon. So get outside, feel the sun in your skin, but don't forget the SPF and allow yourself to bloom into your full potential. And then it just has like little, uh, SPF Mythbusters of like, I guess, frequently asked questions about SPF, but I wish it came with the card with the information of each product. That's what I would like. Anyway, without really looking, even though I already looked, here's why my face is basically done. First thing I pulled out is this Soul Reviving CBD plus CBG hand cream from Handy Dance, Happy Dance. Lord from Happy Dance and um this was one that I chose because I ran out of my soap and glory hand cream so I needed a new hand cream to put in my purse so yeah I picked this up and this retails for twenty dollars so let's open her up and of course it comes like sealed with the little thing oh that was easy normally it's 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 hard for me to open up these little things so what it says on here mm. so it's formulated without parabens phylates sls sles synthetic dyes and synthetic fragrance it's vegan and cruelty free it's 75 percent mg cbd is 75 percent mg cbg whatever that means i don't know what that means but let's just test it on to see how moisturizing it is Put like this much in my hands. Has a slight smell, nothing overbearing where it's like gonna be like a headache. Like this open glory one, I like I liked it, but it does have a strong scent that was sort of kind of overbearing and kind of made my head hurt. But this is light. So yeah, and my hands look very moisturized and everything. So yeah, that's going in the purse. And again, that retails for $20. Next thing that I picked up, which is something that I'm so excited for. This is a perfume, well really a rollerball. This is from Skylar Clean Beauty in the scent Vanilla Sky. It is formulated with cappuccino, um, the notes are not formulated, the, cap uh, the notes are cappuccino per vanilla and caramelized cedar and this retails for $29 and I ain't gonna lie I cheated already and smelled it because I'm just way too excited and in a way it gives me a warmer version of product candy and if you have that perfume then you know what I mean 
Yeah, it just feels more like a warmer version of that. And I already have perfume on, but I'm going to spray, like roll it on my pressure points anyway. Oh, it just smells so good. Put it behind the ears. And then that's it. It came out very smooth. It didn't, I didn't have to like keep rubbing it just for it to come out. And how many fluid ounces is this? This is a 10 millimeter um, perfume. So if I don't use this every day, I think I can get away with it at least for like a month maybe. But I'm so excited for this and it smells really, really good. So yeah, that's that. And I think the rest of the items in here are makeup only. So first thing that I picked out is the Real Her I Am Glowing Shadow Stick. And this is in the shade Rose Shimmer. And this retails for $20. This is like my third Real Her product, if I'm not mistaken. But this is the packaging. So this is basically a eyeshadow stick. And this is what the color looks like. Very rosy, very good for um, either all over the eyelid, you can put it in the corners, use it as an eyebrow highlight. Um, you can probably even use this as a highlight like on your nose. Um, I think that would be cute as well. We might use this depending. That's why I wore our black just because, but if you wear all black, you can do any type of makeup, so who knows. Next thing is this Toy Factory Dream Set. This is a highlighter serum palette with a built-in mirror. And I think this is the first of its kind. It says Dream Set 1 is the world's first serum palette. It's your serum and highlighter are now one. It um, blends with hyaluronic acid and with niacinamide and squalene for glowy, soft, professional glam. So yeah, let's dig into this and let's see. Oh, I can smell, I can smell the perfume around my neck. Oh, it's strong. This is a very potent, strong uh, roller ball. So this is the packaging for the Toy Factory Dream Set. And these are the colors here. This is the color Metaverse, Bisha, Date Night, and Holoplex, maybe? Oh, no. I don't know. From the packaging on the back, the purple color is Date Night, which is right here. So maybe it goes Holoplex, Date Night, Bisha, and Metaverse. That's what I'm gonna go with. Yep, and that's the way that it goes. So, yeah, these are the colors. These are highlighters again. So we're probably most likely will go into Bisha and use that. Um, maybe we might go into Date Night and use it as like in a highlighter. We don't know. You can use it all over the lid if you don't see these colors as on your face. But we shall see. And this retails for. $40. This is the most expensive thing in the uh, box. And then last but not least, we have a eyeshadow palette from Iconic London. And this is in Beachside Babe. So this is what the packaging looks like. This also retails for $40. So the Dream Set from Toy Factory and this eyeshadow palette are the two most expensive things in this uh, box this month. And these are the colors with a beachside babe palette. I don't know what I'm going to do. The last makeup video you guys see me did, I did like a peachy orange look. So I'm trying to go to a different spectrum. Maybe we might do some greens, some yellows, mix them with some blues. I don't know. I'm just going to see. I'm just going to see. But yeah, that was everything that I got in my box this month. So now let's try what I can on. Just wanna... Thoughts of your rule my world I even dream 
everything so speed reviews um hand cream it's a hand cream my hands still don't look ashy doesn't look as moisturized as it did in the beginning but i mean as long as my hands ain't ashy i really don't care so you know is it worth 20 dollars? probably not but if you got this in your about to jar my ipsy bag i'm pretty sure you're not gonna be disappointed with this it's just not mm, whatever this this rollerball from Skylar Clean Beauty, amazing. I still smell myself and I put this on maybe 15 minutes ago and I can still smell it on me. Like this, this was good. This was a good pick, a good pick. And this is only $20. And I think as long as you don't like use it every single day, you should get a good amount of use of this rollerball. And it's bigger than most roller balls that I've seen that cost like $75, $80. Love it, love it. So let's talk about the Dream Set um, from Toy Factory. Um, highlighter is cute. Nothing, you know, to run home to mama about. Uh, it's very subtle. So if you like that subtle glow, this is definitely the palette for you. I really don't see that oomph. Um, my face was already glowy due to the foundation that I put on. I have on the Halo Liquid Glow Filter from um, e.l.f. So my face already looks glowy, but I mean, you can still see some of it. You know, some of the highlighter on my, but it's okay. It's not $40 worth, I told you that much. But it's decent. I'm going to keep it in here in my collection. I can use it for other things to just besides using it as a highlighter palette. The eyeshadow palette, though, from Iconic London, I think this was a good $40. Um, I mean, do I think it's worth $40? No, but I think if you were to get this in this box, in your box, I don't think you would be disappointed with this palette of, you know... The shades went on very nicely. They were blended together. The only shade I'm very disappointed in is the color called Golden Hour. This shade right here. I try to use it as my inner corner highlight. And I don't even know if you guys can see it. There's really nothing there. And I'm very disappointed because that was originally the color I was going to use. But as I was putting on the other two shades, the Warm Sand and the Bikini, and my outer corners and as my transition shade, the color Vacate Glow, which is the yellow that's on my eyes, just came to me. And that color popped without any help, like without spraying any mist on it. It just popped on its own dry. 
So I thought golden hour would have gave me the same effect, but it didn't. Maybe it might be better all over the lid. I don't know. Actually, let me test it out on my finger. Like this is what I was hoping to get if it focused. This is the color I was hoping to get in the inner corners, but it's a very subtle shade. So I think this would be good for like every day. If you want that pop on your eyes, but you don't want to be so bam in your face, I think Golden Hour will probably be your best bet. I just wish it had more oomph to it. But overall, I'm excited to keep testing out this palette. I really want to go in these two, these colors right here. This is called Ocean Deep and this is called Blue Lagoon. I think obviously Blue Lagoon over top of Ocean Deep will look beautiful. So this definitely will be a nighttime um, type of look. Now, I do wish that there was a trans, a real transition shade in here. I use Warm Sand as my transition because this is the only thing that I felt like would have worked, maybe Paracel. But I wish they had like a transition color in here. So I just have to make it work with what I had. And the bikini color is very pigmented. It does have some kickback to it. So if you're not a fan of kickback in palettes, then you're not going to like this as much. But it does have kickback, but it's not overbearing where it's going to mess up your palette. Because, you know, white obviously gets dirty very quickly. But I'm excited to keep using this. I might bring this actually upstairs into the, into the everyday drawer. Who knows? Because summer is right around the corner and I have colorful palettes, but not their bigger palettes. And I need a smaller one that can fit in my drawers upstairs in my room. So I don't know. Like I said, the colors are beautiful. I can see me doing my nighttime looks, my daytime looks with this palette mixed in with my regular neutral everyday palette. So this might be the colorful palette I might bring upstairs. Who knows? And last but not least, is the real her shadow stick i didn't use it all over the list anything but i did put it in my waterline and it's very pigmented you can definitely see it um it's not like overpowering with you know shimmer or anything like that so i can't wait to try it in like on the lids and like i said you can also use it as a highlighter on your nose or whatever um, you can use it on your brow bone not a huge brow bone highlight type of girl sometimes i do it sometimes i don't Depends on my mood. But yeah, overall, I think this is a very good box um, this month. Again, I'm just not a huge fan. It's probably my least favorite is the dream the dream set. I really don't. It was just uh, it was just all right to me. Okay, so now let's um calculate everything. And I said this was twenty dollars. It's not twenty dollars. It's twenty nine dollars. The Skylar Rollerball is twenty nine dollars, which is still cheaper again compared to like if you get a Rollerball from Victor Victor Raw or from Gucci or Baccarat, or, you know all those other ones. It's still it's still cheaper. So all in all, my box totaled one hundred and forty nine dollars, basically one hundred fifty dollars for the full price, um, full price, full size products. Um, and you only pay $31 a month for all these items and you get new makeup every single month. So I think it's still worth it, even though the prices have gone up from $25 to now $31. I still think it's worth the price because, again, individually, you will be spending $150 on all five of these items. when You can just get all these items for $31. So you really can't beat that. And you get to pick and choose what items you want to see in your box every month. So that's also, you know, a pro as well. So if you're interested in signing up for the beauty subscription, I'll have it linked down below along with my referral code. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe and turn on your bell notifications to get notified when I upload my next video. I love you guys. Thank you so much for sticking around. And I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye. I'm just sad.